Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Perpetual Testing. Today we're going to be having a play of Demolition. This was made and recommended by Arang, so a very big thank you to Arang. I have no idea if that's actually how you pronounce your username, but who doesn't like a good overly accentuated rolling R whenever you have the opportunity? Uh, this chamber apparently features the use of the speedy orange gel and the ever so bouncy blue gel. You can hear those pouring in the background. Uh, it is a Portal 1 style map, as we can see from the aesthetic or oh. applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Yeah, I know. There's no God. He wouldn't let us get trapped in this forsaken, godless place. If there was a God, because, you know, he wouldn't be godless. Uh, apart from the bouncy blue gel and the orange speedy gel that we can hear running, it also features one of my most loathed of elements, the high energy pellets. Yeah, these little guys are always kind of a bitch to deal with, just because they are. We've got you on the wall here that's got the catching light coming out of you. I'm assuming that's you. Yeah, so you're going to want a high energy pellet on there. You've got a timer, but you do have a convenient panel in front of you. We've got a button here in the middle of the room that does half of our exit over there. We've got a button here that... What is that? What is that signage? I've never seen that one before. What is that trying to tell me? Is that fizzling a cube? So that looks like it's deteriorating, or is that smashing a cube through glass? Or is that a nice slice of lemon drizzle cake? Hmm, lemon cake. The two worst combinations of things you can get inside Aperture. Uh, it's there as well. What does it do then? Has that got glass on it? I mean, that looks like it's got glass on it, right? There seems to be a panel there. There's a fizzler going off behind it, but there's also a mesh in there. We can't shoot through it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever, ever seen that one before, and I am immediately distrusting of it. Um, our other exit is that panel in there. Well, you shouldn't be too hard to get into there. Let's do you and you and you. Uh, pallet goes straight in there. That does, in fact, do half our exit. That's going to close up again. All stays illuminated. So, you're the other half of the exit. So, we need another cube, which has something to do with this. I think that means fizzler. It looks like there's a fizzler turning on and off in there. Yeah, so we need another cube from somewhere. There doesn't actually appear to be anywhere else to get a cube from. Can't shoot past that fizzler. Is there anything up on top of there? Can we have a look up on top of this panel? There's nothing on top, but we did just see this. Okay, and there's a door down there, alright. Fair few more options on where we can go for now, at least. Um, I guess we head down there, then. You've opened that up for me. So you do, in fact, want me to go in there. Uh, you've conveniently got some panels we can work with. Yep. Let's pop through to here, then. Where we have found another room where I can still hear the gels running, but we haven't found any of them yet. Angled panel up here. There's a gel tube. Gel tube concealed behind glass. Isn't the striped one the breakable kind? This is the solid type that's the non-breakable kind, right? Wait, hold on. First thing we got to try. Doesn't have a handle, but out of tradition we must try it. It was completely not worth trying. There is a panel sticking out here. There is mesh. We can go here. Right, we're already gone somewhere sort of behind the scenes, so I'm guessing keep looking for little places to go behind the scenes in this one. Angled panel there with cautionary do not lean on the railing signs. There's no railing to lean on. These are banisters, they don't count. Uh, up here we've got, we've got quite a lot of signage, okay. Uh, know your chemical hazards. Remember, alert your supervisor. Let's work together. The blue gel, that's actually the thing about eating the blue gel. For those people who haven't read that, pause that now and you can read that. Uh, and that is the one about my new boss is a robot. We've all read them many, many times. We've got a button. The button that does beta station. Right, that gives us a couple of gels. Well, in fact, it gives us two of the same orange gel, which both fall there for some reason. Uh, we've got an angled panel, which sort of lines up with this exit here. And we had that one downstairs, right? So let's get some gel. We don't need it out of there. We need it to run out of there. We need to come flying out of there. So we need the gel to actually go into you, first of all. 
And we then want it to come out of you. Although, you've got all that mesh work there. And deadly, deadly goo behind it. So, won't that uh, ruin my speedway track? Let's get some gel on it and find out how that's actually going to work then. Button is up here. It's very, very dark back here. But again, that's probably just my screen. What's anything else going up there? It's very, very dark. I can't quite tell. But again, like I said, that is probably entirely my fault with the screen. So let's put some blobs of gel down below. These blobs of gel have made us a speed track. So is that going to be enough to get out of there then? It chucks us into this sort of pre-designated landing square where we still can't get past this little gate. So what? That's not enough? We need a longer speed track? Or can we just like hop over the grating at the end and see if that's enough momentum? Line up with you again. We're going to jump at the last moment. See if that works. Yeah, that's way more height. And the door does actually open for us this time. We got to a nice, much more lit room. We have bridge control access. Observation room control access. And turret manufacturing control access. Wait, do you all open up? Turrets in the... Yeah, okay. You're quite an eager door, aren't you? You all open up. And here is a cube. And a button. Should you be on there? You, you're probably supposed to be on there, right? Yes, that would indicate you're supposed to be on there. Let's leave a portal in here, just in case. And let's go check out the other room, the observation room, which does open as well. Ah, wait, this is where we were before, right? With this button. Ooh, what's that done? That has filled in all the floor down there, but we've still got this fizzler in the way. And that's the button that turns off this fizzler. So yeah, that signage does mean fizzler, apparently. Never actually seen that one before. Uh, what else have we got going on in here besides the fresh sparkling aperture water? We've got you. You don't have a handle, but you know, out of tradition, nothing. Okay, so get that cube. Wait, we didn't go in here, did we? This is the most eager door I've ever dealt with. In here is... Aren't you a rocket turret? Is this going to be bad for me? Okay, hi. Yeah, okay. You're going to start doing them, right? We want a rocket, I suppose. For some reason. <laughs> He's very fast on his turning circle. I'm not there. I'm over here. Now, can you shoot, like, here? Hi. Goes into the door. Hi. Can you have another one? Oh, it doesn't quite make it through the door. Uh, do we want that to do something in here then? Because do we need to smash this bit of glass? I'm guessing we need to smash this bit of glass, right? That doesn't do anything anymore. We could put a portal to come out of the for the rocket to come out of down there. I do kind of now want want to know now what happens. Yeah, I know you're there. Want to know what happens when a rocket gets wet. Can we put uh, hi, orange there? Can we try and get you to come round this way? Yeah, round this way. Hi. You can shoot through here, right? Fire? Okay, a wet rocket does not make any difference. Why was that so wonky? Can we have that lined up a little bit better? Ow. All right, you put me all the way back here. Okay, yeah, and she's still here. Okay, we know that, and we know that, and that. And you'll do that one for me? Thank you. Uh, this, I guess, doesn't need to be pressed right now, but I'm going to press it anyway. And then we went down here, into this little walkway bit down here. Uh, then let's use you. Pop through, that starts to open up for us, and gives us access to the panel in there. And we can pop through this side where you open up. We know how to get past you. We just have to work out how to get the turret with the rockets to uh, play nice and break that bit of glass for us. Press you again. Make a mess downstairs. Probably enough mess. Do you. Orange on that one. And we know that we had to do a little bit of a hop at the end of this to get the height. To fly gracefully over to... Not being anywhere near close enough. Fine, let's do that again. 
Why is it whenever I try to say something was done gracefully, it goes wrong? I, sh I should stop doing that, right? It's going to get embarrassing at some point. I'm kidding. I can't be any more embarrassed at how I play this game yet. Thank you. That one worked. Slight flicker on the door. Okay, so what do we need you for? You're just, like, not sat here, but you seem to need to be wanted to be sat up on there. Yeah, okay, let's uh, get you to open up. And you do actually stay open, which seems important. Oh, well, let's press that first so there's actually some floor downstairs. Yeah, that fills all of that in down there. Now, let's uh, use quick save before we take another rocket to the face. What do I need to wash in here is also quite a good question. Let's put you there. Let's open you up again. Let's activate this little bastard. Orange there. Hi. Want to shoot me? Because this is two in the middle. Rocket. Yeah, all the way through. Are you going to break the glass? No. Okay, neater than that. Let's move the blue over a little bit, shall we? Might actually have to move the orange now I think about it. No, that should do it. Is that not smashing things in there? What is it you want me to do then? Can you shoot another one? Wait, where's the fizzler gone? Ah, you can only see it up close apparently, fine. Uh, so that means I can't leave a portal in here. We do need to send a rocket through, but won't the rocket just get emancipated going through here? It should do, right? The rocket should just get destroyed? I don't think I've ever actually tested a rocket for a fizzler before. Yeah, okay, you're going to see me there. I don't actually need you there. Can you look this way, please? Hey, buddy, in here. All right, and fire. But it just gets destroyed there. So how do I get you to do that? Because that can't actually do any... Oh, wait. Why does that work? That should not work, right? What, why, why... Does this keep going on and off or something? Now it works. Alright, fine. I'll try and cheese that a little bit then. Uh, is it cheesing? Or is that actually just... Is this going on and off? This is... Slightly bizarre. Do I have to try and work out when it's on and when it's off? Okay, fine. Let's do you in there again. Let's uh, get this guy to shoot through the back wall again. Like there. All right, he should turn around and spot me. And then at some point, one of these rockets will just work, right? Are you going to shoot? Can you see me from here? So how do I know how to time that? Wait. No, that's where we came in. For a moment there, I thought that was another way to go out. Uh, let's put blue there then for the moment. No, let's, let's try going a different way. Put blue there. And let me in here again. Let's put orange there and nip past him. And get out of his firing range. So you're currently not on, right? But then you just came on. So how am I supposed to know when this is on and off? I don't seem to have any actual control over that. Can you aim around this way for me so I know you're looking the right way? Yeah, and fire. Alright, so do you only come on when I get close or something? Are you a dodgy fizzler? Yeah, you don't need to seem to know where I am and when I am. That's kind of strange. So wait, could I go into his room back here? Put the blue... Hold on. Oh, fuck. He's going he's gonna to chase me now while I try to aim the blue down the corridor. Can you go away by any chance? No. Open that up. Open, 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 open. He's going to aim. Right. And there's blue in there. So now I can just pop through, right? Pop through behind him.
And this is the room. This is the room. Now, how do we get that to go where we want? Can we do it there? We can do it here. Maybe that'll work. Hey, buddy. Fire right here. Okay. That appears to have broken glass. That was kind of weird. I don't really know what's going on with this fizzler. And does this do anything else? No, that put the floor up down below. So I guess we need to head back down there now. And I don't know what this is for. And do we want this cube? Wait, will this take away the bridge below? No, the, the bridge is still there. So, uh, what do I want you on there for? Well, we needed another cube before, didn't we? So let's grab you out of here. Get you into that weird little room in there that doesn't seem to know what's going on with its fizzler. Let's leave you here, I suppose, because we can turn that fizzler off from downstairs. And we should just be able to pop back up here. I can't shoot through there, so we're going to have to go backwards. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that fizzler. If that's working as intended, it could really do with some sort of indication. Where did that blue come from? What am I on top of now? On top of the glass. Where did that blob of blue gel come from? I swear that wasn't there earlier. <laughs> okay, well, it's convenient for getting back at least. Uh, is there a way to get back up here now is a good question. Does that come down somehow if we go there? And there, that gets us over here. Oh, we can just see up there. Fine. And then the orange there. Don't drop back through the hole. Now, if we press U, the fizzler should turn off. And we can just go up in there. Okay. Okay, that was kind of a bizarrely roundabout way to get this cube. Involving a rather bizarre fizzler and a rocket turret, which you don't see a great deal of. That keeps this floor all up in place and the exit open for us. So we can pop on through to here. Is this, uh, actually the end? Okay, that was a rather strange little bit of demolition, although now I see why we did demolition. Is it demolition if you only break one piece of glass? It's kind of more like vandalism, isn't it, when you think about it? But anyway, that was demolition made and recommended by Arang. So a very big thank you to Arang with the rolling R's for that one. Uh, if you'd like to recommend a map for me to try and play, then please go ahead and recommend it via the usual means. So until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, thank you very much for watching. And remember, do not commit vandalism, unless it's your own property and then it's just aggressive decorating.